fellow Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to unbox some diamond painting finds. So I'm excited about these. We'll see what you think. So I've got a couple things to get to and the first one is a diamond painting pen. So I was out wandering around on Etsy and I happened to see this pen and I thought it was really pretty so I decided that I would get it. <laughs> there was only one left. It is from a place called Lucky's Resin Works and I will put a link to their Etsy store down below. They specialize in diamond painting pens and uh, yeah, there was only one of these left and I was super excited about it. Now I told them just to put plastic tips on them because I'll just get my own tips and let me see if I can get this out of here. This pin was so pretty though. Look at this. Look how nice and chunky it is, first of all. And it's like this greenish, uh, coppery, almost like copper when it's been patinaed, you know? How it turns that kind of grayish green color. And I just thought it was super pretty. And I really like the profile. I like how it's got some interesting designs up here, but then down here where you hold it, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. You could flip it and hold it whichever way you want, but I'll probably use it like this. One, and I'll replace the tip so that the I don't have plastic tips in there. But yeah, I just thought it was really, really pretty. So this little baby was on sale for $28, but it's nice and light. So I can't wait to try it out. I'm, I'll replace my plastic tips and then I'll try it out. So you'll probably see it again on the channel in some whipping chats and things. And it came in this lovely little sleeve. So yeah, make sure you check them out. Okay, so there's my diamond painting pen. And then, so I saw somebody selling these trays. This is what I have coming up next. I saw someone selling these trays on Etsy uh, a while ago and I didn't buy them. And they've been on my save for later list forever. And then I saw somebody on Instagram using them and I thought, oh, well, it's not the same person that I saw on Etsy. And then after I purchased these, I think these ship from Canada is the store where I bought them. And then after I got these, once I'd placed my order, I hadn't gotten them yet, but after I placed the order, I saw Bella Art De Nicole is also selling them. Not quite the same, but the same principle. So obviously people must like them because I'm seeing them everywhere now. And I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't get the ones that I saw originally when I was going to. But whatever, that's how stuff works, right? Okay, so these are from a store called Les Creations de Clo and hand turned pencils, canvas, and 3D accessories. And it's got all of our socials on there. My husband told me he thinks these are maple flavored candies because she's from Quebec. So we'll see. I'm gonna try them out. My husband's diabetic, so he can't have any. He was very, very jealous, but I'm gonna try them out. If they are, that'd be awesome. Okay, so what I got was three different trays. And you can see it here probably in the large tray the best. This is the jumbo tray and I got it in white. This was $14.92. And you can see it's got a little spout and it's got a little plug here. So you've got a pour spout for it, but it's got these grids on it. And I got mine half and half. She has options to either get just regular grid, grid lines like you would normally get to get a tray that has all of the little single spaces or to get one like this that's half and half. So I decided to get this these all half and half because I do a lot of multi-placing. Now I have seen the, the Bella trays I think have like four slots. So like it'll be instead of little individual drills like it is here, it would fit four drills and then there's a space and then four drills and so on. So you can get, you know, whatever you want if you just hunt around, but I decided to try it this way. I do a lot more multi-placing probably than I do single placing, but I was curious to see how it would work. And I'm gonna guess like right here on the edges, you can see it's not gonna be single. I bet there's enough room for two squares, maybe two rounds on each side. I don't know if two rounds will fit in one of those spaces, but we'll see. So I got this one in white. And then she had some that had lids, so I decided to try it. And I wanted to see what all the different colors were. So I got the bottom in candy pink and then the lid in white. Now, these are not flexible like my cat proof trays. I mean, those are super flexible. This is flexible enough that you can put it on and off, um, but it's just not flexible in the way that the cat proof trays are. So you just stick that on there. And again, 
this is probably going to be my favorite. You can see I got the half and half grid, but I really like these kind of pour spouts. I just, I'm too clumsy for these, I think. These are not my favorite kind of pour spouts, but we'll see. So I think this one may, may be my favorite, but this one, and it came, it's the tray with the lid. This one was $11.19. And the prices may be slightly weird because it's getting converted from Canadian to American. And then this one was the last tray that I got. This one was also $11.19. This one is stackable. So you can see it's got like a little lip here and a little lip here on the back. I just got the one tray because I was trying out all these other ones. But if you wanted to stack these and with the spout in them, then you could, you know, stack them up and only the one that's on the top that you're using would be the one that was exposed. Again, I only got, I got the half and half grid because I do a lot more multi-placing than I do single placing. I'm curious to see how they work. So let me go, let me go grab some drills and we'll just pour some drills in and we'll see what they look like. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay. I've just got some black drills, so I'm just going to pour them in and then shake and we'll see what happens. Oh, these are round. I thought I was grabbing square, so we'll see what happens. Do the round ones fit in there? I guess that's a good test. Since the round ones are bigger, if they didn't fit, then we would know the squares. Okay, I dumped too many of them in there, so let me dump some out. Whoa. So you can see, wow, that actually lines up really nicely. Look at that. So you've got one drill in each one. So if you're single placing, you can just pull them and they're not stuck together. And if you wanna do some multi-placing, you can get some out here that will kind of line up nicely for you in that way. So maybe if you're gonna be doing um, multi-placing, you wanna shake your drills down to this end instead so that they're not all stuck in there. That's actually really cool. I, I, I'm really, that's really nice. I'm actually really glad that I grabbed the circle, the, the circle, the round ones because those will be a little bit easier to see, I think. All right, let me tap some of these. I've got a big, a big glob right here in the middle that's sticking together. Okay, so same thing here. Let me tap some of these down to the end. You can see they're all sitting really nicely. Also, a bonus and something that I hadn't considered. Oh, you can see there, there's two round ones in there. Um, something that I hadn't considered was it will be very easy to, once you shake them in here, to kind of tell which drills maybe aren't the ones that you wanna put in your kit. If they don't sit in there very nicely because they're too big, or if they are too small, then it'll be a little bit easier to see so that you can pick through them. Let me, let me pour some of these in here. And this one has the pour spout. It, it was in there like this when I got it, but I imagine you could put it in there this way as well, however makes sense for you. Let's see how easy they, well, that wasn't terrible to get them all out of the little grid so that you could get them into a different tray or pour them back into uh, your container. All right, so there's that one. Let's see what this one looks like when I shake it. Okay, so yeah, woo. Yeah, loving how those line up right there. And then again, you can see just all the little ones. Now in this smaller tray, you're only gonna get one drill on those kind of edges instead of two like we did in the bigger tray. I'm fine with that either way. These are gonna be really exciting. Okay, let me go grab some square drills because now I'm really curious to see how the square drills look. So let me put all of these round drills away and I will, ooh, that's a question. I don't, how do I get these all down without just dropping them everywhere? Can I get them all out of there without them going everywhere? I think I'm gonna pour them from this big one into this little one just to see. See guys, this is why I don't use these because I just will make a big mess. I already spilled them everywhere. Okay, let me get them in here. Because what I can see happening is that I'm going to try and get them out of all of these little individual ones up here, and they're just going to go flying everywhere. So, I don't know how much I like that. See, they're going to go flying everywhere. Yeah, that's going to be a concern for me in using this big one. Now, you know, 
if you're working on a canvas, then it's probably not a big deal because you're going to be using some of these. But I'm one of those people, I pour a lot of, tra of drills out sometimes when I really don't need that many. And so, yeah. All right. Let me pick these up that have been going everywhere and let me grab some square drills and put these away and I will be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed some square drills. Let's see what happens with the squares. So same thing, you can get them to line up over here or you can get them to set in the little individual pockets. And yeah, really it's, gosh, again, much easier to kind of tell if they're not sitting straight, if they've got a little tab on them. That one looks a little bit small. Yeah, I just think this will make it much easier to kind of sort out trash drills while you're working, in addition to making it easier to kind of pick up drills. Because I know, especially if I'm using my glue dots, which is my favorite, sometimes when I'm only trying to pick up one drill, the other one is so close to it that I'll end up picking two. So having them separated like this will be nice. Yeah, let me just pour these into these smaller trays, they pop out of that grid a lot nicer than they do from that big tray. So I think, unless I'm working on a very big project, I think these smaller trays are gonna be kind of my sweet spot. But yeah, I'm really curious to try them and see actually diamond painting. I'm really loving this size and how they line up here and also here. Again, these the two smaller ones were $11.19 and this big one was $14.92. And then we've got my very pretty kind of copper patina diamond painting pen, which was $30.38. Oh, and I should mention, because this is coming from uh, Quebec, I'm pretty sure that's where it said. Yeah, from Quebec. There is shipping. So I didn't get charged any shipping on the pen. I did get charged shipping on the trays and the shipping was $11.20. So just something to be aware of if you're not in Canada, they are coming from Canada. Or there was a different Etsy shop. This I actually ordered from her website. I don't think the Etsy shop is the same place. I don't even remember the name of it, but I'm pretty sure it's not the same name. But they're really interesting. Uh, oh, and also Bella has them. So if you just wanna order something from Bella, you can do that too. So I will stick links to all of these in the description box down below. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.